this story because I thought it had such profound messages. It's such a good story to tell about our past. That's what made me write the book. It's, I don't know about the story because my mother sat on it, and my, 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 my father and my grandmother, and they wouldn't talk about it. I think it was too painful to talk about. But more than that, I've discovered that they didn't want us to know what our grandmother went through. Because, as they say, it would drive us right into the liberation army movements. It has been very difficult. Because, A, there was nothing written about where she was born. So I had to retrace her steps from oral information. And sometimes people just threw me off the track. It was, it was very difficult. You know, coming from where I come from, from Johannesburg, and going back to Zululand, not knowing where the first place was, where my grandmother lived. And also, so much has happened in that area. You know, there have been new developments, new, new communities. And as you know, black people have been moved. So it, 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 was, it, was, it was very difficult. The story is about a very strong Zulu girl who finds herself thrown into a, a world that very few people have been thrown in. Sometimes I think of Anne Frank from the German um, Second World War. My grandmother was thrown into this. She had to live in the mountain, eking a living out of roots and reds. And after the end of the war, she comes back. They haven't got a home. Their father has died. They have to start life afresh. And a lot of things happen within their family. And they have to move out. And then she finds herself now in Dundee. So it's just moving. She was always on the, on the go. Her parting from her mother. I cannot imagine how I could be wrenched away from my mom. And to think that my grandmother had to leave her mom behind. And where, when she was staying in Dundee, knowing that her mother is just beyond the mountain, and yet she doesn't know where she is, because at the time she was uneducated, you know. And she, she, when she left the farm, she actually didn't know where she was going, but she knew that she had to leave this place. So here she is without a mother, but her mother is still alive. I mean, when your parent has died, you know, it's final, it's gone. But when you know that someone is still alive and it's breathing somewhere, and yet you cannot be in touch with them, I, I don't think there's anything worse than that in life. That's, that's the part that touched me most. Being, you know, seeing my hearing of my grandmother being separated from her, from her mom.